Hey Jim and welcome to Casper's Site. How the devil are you? Today's video is just a random pinball machine of everything. I basically I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down to you. I started off one I've got I've got a little to-do list right for the week. Monday's is the top five, which you saw. Yesterday's was the Casper Site ranked top fives, okay, which you saw. And then today was supposed to be random stroke alien stroke news stroke strange. Okay, and then tomorrow should be community tweet emails and messages. So I started off doing the alien stuff. Okay, a little bit of interviews with Elon Musk, right? Stephen Greer and all that sort of stuff or Greer, whatever. Right. And then I sort of just jumped about and started mingling tomorrow's video into today's. So it's a whole load of everything. I'm sorry. It's a it's a cocktail. Okay, it, it's a Tom Cruise cocktail that don't don't gift that for fuck's sake. So be warned. I don't know. You've got to take risks. This could be the best. This could, this video could go absolutely viral. Could be the best hit ever. All right. But I'm just saying, be warned. It's a little bit hit and miss. <laughs> okay. So I've literally just been spending an hour and a half just looking through emails, looking through tweets and all that sort of stuff. Okay. So I'm going to edit it and make it the best I possibly can. I already did an intro for this video thinking that I was just going to do it, look, like, look at a couple of things, but mate, it spiraled out of control. Without further ado, Dar Diddly Day, let's do this. First time we talked, you said what you would, which is surreal to think that this discussion was happening is becoming a reality. I asked you what question would you ask an AGI system once you create it? And you said, what's outside the simulation is the question. So, <laughs> so a simulation. So he's referring to basic. Is it the Matrix? Like the world that we're living in is a simulation. Which, to be fair, it's a whole other video, mate. Because this potentially could be a simulation that we're we're living in, right? Look at virtual reality at the moment, and we've only just scratched the surface of what the, the, what we're capable of. Imagine that if we are literally now somewhere else plugged in. Crazy. Good question. Yeah, but it seems like with Grog, you started to it's literally. Uh, the system's goal is to be able to ask such questions, to answer such questions, and yeah. to ask such questions. Where are the aliens? Mm. Where are the aliens? That's one of the, the like the Fermi paradox question. Um, a lot of people have asked me if, if I've seen any evidence of aliens, and I've, I haven't, which is uh. kind of. Well, that's it. If, if Elon Musk hasn't seen aliens, mate, they don't exist. Got it. Concerning, because then I think we're. I'd probably prefer to at least have seen some archaeological evidence of aliens. Um, to, to the best of my knowledge, there is no proof. I, I'm not aware of any evidence of aliens. Mm. The, out there, they're very subtle. See, the thing is, though, mate, right? It's like, it's so vast out there. And I know that we've got telescopes that can see fucking light years away. But I've, I've said this before on tweets. Mathematically, it's impossible for us not like to be the only ones. And I know a lot of people disagree with that. All right. But mathematically, it's impossible when there are billions and billions of suns like ours. Uh, like, it, 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 I, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I can't get over the fact that people don't think that there are aliens. It has to be. We might just be the only consciousness, at least in the galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I would agree with that. It could be in the galaxy, yeah. And if you, if you look at, say, the history of Earth, for instance, I believe the archaeological record, Earth is about four and a half billion years old. Civilization, as measured from the first writing, is only about 5,000 years old. Wow, man. <laughs> that's like scratch, that's not, that's scratching the surface of history, really, isn't it? Wow. Limestone tablet engraved with picture graphic writing. It comes from the Mesopotam... Potamic, Mesopotamic city of Kish, Iraq, dated from 3,500 BC. Wow. I have to give some credit there to the ancient wow. Sumerians who aren't around anymore. I think it was an archaic pre-cuneiform was the first actual symbolic representation, but only about 5,000 years ago. I think that's a good date for, for when, say, civilization started. That's one millionth of Earth's existence. One millionth? So civilization has been around. It's really a flash in the pan mm -hmm. so far. Um, and why, why have we 
But why did it take so long? Oh, you know, that's a really years. that's a really good point. That is a really really good point and a valid point there. Like, yeah, like, this is how this is how this guy thinks. Like, if we have, if this planet is that old, why now? When, especially when I would imagine that the Earth, well, I, I would imagine, I know that the Earth was probably a lot easier, I suppose, to, to live on, right? Less pollution, more greenery, you know? I mean, more oxygen. Um, so, yeah, strange. And that's also a theory, by the way, that I've heard that where giants could actually be real and why so many creatures were huge right because there was so much more oxygen there's so much more oxygen on earth everything became a lot bigger um for the vast majority of the time there was no life and, and then there was archaic bacteria for a very long time and then you know you had to, Mitochondria get captured, multicellular life, um, differentiation into plants and animals, life moving from the oceans to land, mammals, uh, higher brain functions. And the sun is expanding slowly. Um, the what's expanding slowly? And the sun is expanding slowly. The sun. Um, but it, it, it will... It will overheat. It will, it will heat heat the Earth up at uh, some point in the future. Um, boil the oceans, and and Earth will become like Venus, Ooh. where no life, life as we know it, is impossible. Wow! So if we do not become multiplanetary, and ultimately go beyond our solar system, um, annihilation of all life on Earth is a certainty. He fucking talks like an alien, doesn't he? <laughs> like, let's be honest. He talks like an alien. If you can imagine what an alien would talk like, this is this is it. <laughs> I'm, and people say that he's an alien, man. But people do. I, I, I used to, like, comically say that he's an alien because I had so much respect for him. I don't I had. I do have respect for him, right? He's super intelligent. I don't know what his background is, but sometimes I think to myself, what does it like where does his intelligence come from like on paper he might not be but it's almost like he's got this um if we are able to go out there and explore other star systems that we there's a good chance we find a whole bunch of long dead one planet civilizations yeah they never made it past their home planet that's so sad yeah that's sad also fascinating i mean there are various explanations for the Fermi paradox and one is just the sort of there are these great vultures, which civilizations don't pass through. And one of those great vultures is, do you become a multi-planet civilization or not? And if you don't, it's simply a matter of time before something happens on your planet, um, you know, either natural or man-made, that causes us to die out, like the dinosaurs. Wouldn't that be absolutely amazing? If... In your lifetime, this would be an interesting question. On in your lifetime, if you were able to move to a different planet, say for example Mars, and it was safe, it was like it was your everyday thing, like you know, jumping on a plane, going from the UK to the states or whatever, right? It was a normal thing that everybody did all the time. Would you jump ship and move to to Mars? If they, it was like colonized, if there was like another like proper civilization, there was, you know, food, water and things like that. Beaches, <laughs> you know, well, basically Mars. Would you do it? I think I would do it for a holiday for sure. See, test the water or test the sand. Vlad TV, subscribe, do the thing. A lot of times you see these ancient structures and people claim that they were made by aliens. Mm -hmm. uh, the pyramids of Giza. Stonehenge uh, in the UK, uh, Machu Picchu uh, in Peru. Is there any proof at all that these weren't simply man-made with, you know, just some smart mathematicians behind them? Mm -hmm. I personally don't see anything alien-like when I go to the pyramids of Giza. Mm -hmm. You yourself, do you see any sort of connection between those two things? Well, honestly, I don't necessarily think that there were uh, 
ETs that made them. I think there could have been some extraordinary technologies that were used. For example, um, there is a record of technologies that existed on Earth of uh, civilization more advanced than we are now. And the question is... Hang on, what? The, 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 what? For example, um, there is a record of technologies that existed on Earth of uh, civilization more advanced than we are now. And well, the... where, where's where's that gone then? Where's that gone? Question is, were there some use of some type of electrogravitic levitation technologies that were used? The other problem is, even when the Smithsonian paid five million dollars to simulate using mathematics and the technology uh, that archaeologists say existed back in the time of, of the pyramids. Those obelisks, like the Washington Monument, but those were all one big piece of stone. They couldn't raise the smallest one. With- wow. Oh, wow. They couldn't raise the smallest one, mate. What does that tell you? Everything we know now about mathematics and engineering with what's been postulated. So there's something that doesn't add up there. Yeah. But I think it's a bridge too far to claim they were built by ETs. But they were certainly... Their construction and the precision of the stones cut, how far they were moved, how they were put into place. There are a lot of questions I have, but I have no proof of how that might have happened, except the man I referred to earlier from Redstone Arsenal area, uh, who who, uh, is given materiel occasionally, is not always extraterrestrial. He has been given uh, objects that are tens of thousands of years old or older that are technological, that have been found in the ocean and elsewhere, that were of human origin and were extremely advanced technologies. So I... What? Bloody hell, man. So th- this is the thing. Like, we, we explore and we find out, you know, on the ground level, but uh, what is it, 10% of the ocean we've actually, you know, um, explored? Imagine being able to get a huge magnet or something like that and just taking up everything from back then all the technology that has just been lost mate that would be absolutely incredible believe that it's likely that on earth prior to the modern era there have been civilizations far advanced beyond where we are that for which we have very little record and when that record is found uh i think it's kind of swept under the 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 carpet See, that's the thing is some people say that we've had numerous amounts of resets in the human history. So a lot of the history that you, you read about now isn't actually history. It's what's made up, you know, isn't it sort of things like, um, what is it? The, not the mudslides, the mud something where so many buildings now are covered in this mud. Um, and this is why when you see buildings where it said founded at certain date, um, they weren't made then. They were literally found. And that's why it says founded, you know? Um, and and you can go into the whole sort of like uh, conspiracy theories. And this is why they call it history because it's his story. All this sort of stuff, mate. Like, it opens up a whole can of worms. But it's um it's quite a common theme where people start talking about like resets, resets where we've had technology before, then it just sort of like, I mean, look at the way the world's going, right? Christ, what is it? Einstein said, I've used this one before, but Einstein said that um, uh, he won't, he doesn't know what we'll use in World War Three as weapons, but he does know that in World War Four we'll have sticks and stones. That's scary to think like that, man. You know, it's interesting. There were years ago when they did the, the Mars... Uh, uh, images, and they found that there were these obelisks and strange-looking objects on Mars. I ta- I went out to the Goddard Space Flight Center here outside D.C. to meet with uh, Mark Carlotto and some other scientists there, and they said, yep, yeah, it's been pixelated out for the public, but there are structures there. And- what? <laughs> it's been pixelated out for the public? Holy moly. And uh, they were very ancient, but we're talking millions of years. So the thing is, if that's true, it might not be true. 
if they're pixelating stuff like that out, what else are they pixelated out? <laughs> old, millions. And I was out in California, Sorry. very ancient, but we're talking millions of years old, millions. And I was out in California after I had disclosed this to some people, and a man came up to me from JPL, Jet Propulsion Labs, and I didn't know him. He knew who I was and said, Dr. Greer, here's the issue. You're right, those exist, but we can't disclose that. I said, why? It's not an operational ET device. It's not, you know, it's old. He says, yes, but you don't understand how powerful the, the this information is. I said, why? He said, well, it, I mean, why? I, I would say that it would be extremely powerful information because that would literally alter some people's beliefs in whatever they believe in, if that could just change the course of what their beliefs are, which could have massive effects on people, like communities, populations, and the world. It says if this was disclosed, it would collapse the fundamentalist orthodox belief systems of every religion on earth. I'm saying. I said, what? This science and this evidence is being kept secret for religious reasons? He says, yes because the creation myths, uh, now I'm not talking about most people, but the, the, those sort of fundamentalist orthodox belief systems, they'd all crumble, they'd be completely gone. And you would have to come up with something a little more rational, right, um, than- But I think saying that, I, I think that on religion's defense, now I'm not religious, but on religion's defense, um, at the end of the day, most, religions i would say i mean I, again i'm literally no expert on religion but you know god created all right so if there was uh if there was found to be alien life forms somewhere else then god created them you know the world is six thousand years old and we you know used to write we'd be completely gone and you would have to come up with something a little more rational right um, than the world is 6,000 years old. And we, you know, used to ride uh, dinosaurs, you know, like horses. <laughs> if you go to the creation the museum Flintstones. in Kentucky. So <laughs> this is true, by the way. What? Um, those of you in urban areas, you need to kind of wake up a bit about the rest of the world. But uh, that's just how it is. So what I tell people is that some of this evidence has been kept secret, not for scientific reasons, but for social belief uh and how much that information would disrupt uh most people's foundations of their paradigm and belief i want to make it clear as well like earlier i said like i actually predicted i said yeah if we found out that aliens existed it would sort of shatter or have a ripple effect against people that believe in in god and, and other religions and things like that and i think that uh, don't don't get it twisted because like these are just opinions and this is his opinion um uh whether we choose to believe him or not and like i said earlier at the end of the day if there are aliens then the argument could still be well how, who put the aliens there it must be some sort of god or power that we can't see that's created all of this right so the other argument is like you know, once upon a time, we used to be a lot more spiritual, which would again support the the theory of like the the god. Um, but we used to have more of a um, uh, connection with one another, and we could use like um, telekinesis and things like that. And over over time, our like third eye has been closed over. Um, so man, there, there's so many. <laughs> This is this is why I like covering and talking about this stuff because it's nice to know that your mind can branch out and accept and acknowledge and understand certain ideas, right? Certain theories. I I, I like it. Carolina Rain. Hey, Casper Sat. This image seems to be catching on in the UK. Thanks to four hundred one files. What the hell is this, right? Please tell me. Somebody said it's a dog man, right? What the hell is a dog? What the hell is a dog man? Look at the thing. Look at this thing. Look at his face. 
That literally looks like a human face, mate. And look at the fingers. Look at the paws. They are proper fingers, mate. Look at them. Apparently, this was uh, captured on a, uh, uh, a, a, tr a trial cam. A trail cam. Sorry, a trial cam. A trail cam, right? Somebody captured this. What the fuck is this, mate? People were saying that this was a dog man. And I started looking at dog man images and videos and stuff, mate. Like, you, you haven't seen anything. It, this is a proper bloody werewolf, man. Uh, like, look at this, what I saw. Juvenile dog man. A closer look. Look at this thing. Keep it still. So there you go, everybody. That is the um, juvenile dogman. Uh, Look. You can see, I've managed to get a much better copy of it. You can see the ear moving, its mouth, its snout, eye, all on the move. A lot of people are saying, nah, it's just some rubber. Statue, Mate, no, you can see, uh, uh, literally just pause it as it disappears. You can see the, you can see the, the wrinkles in the there. skin. Fingers are flexing. Yeah, I just saw elbow. that finger move there. The arm moving up and down. Just pull those fingers in and out. Let's watch them for a second. I've never seen this, mate. Very creepy. Thing. Imagine, see, I, I wish I saw the face, though. Not just the ear. The skin as well. We've managed to bring that out more. Um, Stabilisation isn't brilliant. It could be better. But it's bloody hard to do. Um, by the way, whoever, if this was a dummy, they've managed to put testicles on it as well. Ah. As you can see. Uh, but it's not. It's a real moving animal. What the hell? And What the hell? Why don't they just call it a bloody werewolf, mate? A dog man. Call it a bloody, it's a bloody werewolf, mate. I told my mom I thought I saw a werewolf. And my mom believed me. I was walking along a good, probably seven to 10 seconds before. Maximum curtains, please. I gotta turn its head. That thing, that was no dog. That was too big to be a dog. That thing was bigger than me. That thing was stalking cornfields, jumping on cars, and feasting on roadkill. For what the hell? Oh my! What the hell, man? You guys also sent me um, Bigfoot, and I've got to be honest, it's fucking awesome, right? Uh, make sure you follow me on X, mate. I'm so active on here, man. Uh, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> oh, bog man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because I, I said, what do you believe in most? Ghosts? Bogfoot, aliens or afterlife. The I the I is right next to the O, okay? Fair enough, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Um Oh for fuck's sake. You take You lot. Taking the piss out of me. Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Hey, there's me juggling. Hey. Where is this thing? What am I looking for now? What am I looking for? Um, oh, okay. Oh, yes. David Grush. No, he's, yeah, it was David Grush on um, Joe Rogan. That's what I got to listen to. I got to listen to that. Oh, Casper's like hoodie. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Happy birthday, mate. I, I can't find this now. Bloody hell. Ah, right, here we go.
Look at it, just pick that thing up and smash it, mate. What are your thoughts on this one? Drop a comment. So, th th there's a couple of things, right? <clears throat> I saw another one where they zoomed up closely to the face. Look, at the end of the day, we don't know what a Bigfoot looks like, right? As in the facial features. But this looks like a human face. Because I, I can't... I, I don't know where it is, but I saw it close up. Closer than this. And they enhanced it and whatever. But it just doesn't look... Quite... Right. But the way this thing is moving, these trees, with somewhat ease, I mean, you could pull that. You could pull that. You know, a strong guy could, could pull that. But this is the part where I'm just like, hang on a second. The way he's lifting this log up, right? Because it is literally like a log. From one end, you could pick that up from the middle, but from one end to lift it like that is going to be pretty damn tough, unless it's one of those hollowed out trees, you know. But there's one thing that somebody picked up on. Watch this tree here. Watch. So he, he, he throws that over, and then you see a little cut there, right there. Now, I've looked back at this, and I've gone, okay, there's a cut. Have they changed it? But I, I, I looked at this bit, and I looked at this bit. See see this bit here? Right? It, it's there now. The cut is it's still the same thing. And I don't know why there's a cut there. But look the way he lifts this thing up. Like, right from the very end. And you can see his two hands here. I, mate, I mean, fuck me. Even if it was... <laughs> I don't know. Even if that was sort of... I don't know. Like, a lighter material. To, to throw something that long and big around... I mean, I do that every day. <laughs> even if that thing was made out of fiberglass or something like that. To, that that's still pretty... Uh, and to slam it on the floor and it didn't break. It can't be that lighter material. So that's that's really quite strange, and I'm glad that people sent me that. And I don't know who sent me that, but it's um yeah, it's pretty pretty damn cool. Jamie Lee Sprout Borley, oh, this picture I took in my home. You were the first person I thought I sent it to. We obviously can't cannot explain it. There was no lights or anything in the home that could have caused this. We were taking a picture of our cat, and didn't see until afterwards. Oh, okay, that's quite strange. Wow, okay. Look at this fog and mist, mate. Look at it. Like that, okay, could have been like a light coming from... It could have been a, 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 a flashlight. But that's strange. And I, I totally trust this person. I don't know why, I just do. But look at this fog. And yeah, you could say, yeah, okay, that's like a, a vape. But vapes don't... That's lingering smoke, right? Vapes don't smoke like that. It's it's much more of a, a bellow, if that's a good word to use. Not clean cut like this. That's weird. Okay, okay. What's this? You need to see this. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Three hour, three and a half hours? Hey Casper, I'm a small YouTuber that recently discovered you. The pick attached is something that was apparently chilling on my front porch. I don't know if it's just light reflecting or what. Whatever it was, it was enough to set off my security camera. Thought I could send it to you. Could you take a uh, peek and say, look at yeah. It appears to be, have a face like a little body on it. Maybe you will find it interesting. Oh yes, mate. What the hell? And the security camera picked that up? What the hell is that? What oh, little Casper, mate? That's little Casper. What? What the fuck? Ben, your latest video was freaky. On the topic of headless people, here was a photo taken by, by uh, taken in probably 2016, 2017. I am the person with no head. 
The jacket is normally blue on top and black on the bottom. You can see my hand, but that's it. Thanks for all you do, Mark. What the hell? How do we... I... What the fuck? That is fucking weird, man. 2016, 2017. Well, he's still alive, which is a good thing, right? I don't know what... Mate, like, see, the thing is, digital cameras, they don't really glitch, man. Digital cameras don't glitch, but this is a glitch and a half. Well, there you go, mate. I haven't got time, I ain't got time for doing any more, man. Thank you so much for sending me your bits and bobs. That's what she said. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.